Hello Rifters and uh, developers and VR enthusiasts. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use my uh, Leap Motion unofficial plugin for the Unreal Engine 4. Uh, I was planning on uh, showing you a little bit more in depth on how to use the plugin since it's grown in complexity. And to do that, well, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a Jenga style game. And I'll break this down into three parts. Uh, so if you want to just know how to start off and and get something basic, then the first video will cover that. And then uh, the more advanced stuff will be covered in the second and third video, uh, which will teach you how to pick up blocks or and maybe do some cool things like telekinesis. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's begin. Uh, for this purpose, we're going to be using uh, Unreal Engine 4.7, and we're going to be basing this off of the third-person blueprint uh, template. And we're just going to call this Jenga game. And let's create the project. So the project has launched. And this is what you get when you start the third person template. And once this is finished, you can actually just go ahead and close it. The next step is to grab the latest Leap Motion download. And you just go to GitHub, GitNamo, Leap UA4, and just click this download zip button and wait for it to finish. There we go. So this is the project root folder and we just drag the binaries and plugins to the root of the project and that's the entire installation procedure. And you relaunch it. Now if we go into window and plugins we can confirm that we are in fact uh, have this plugin enabled in the input. Uh, you don't actually have to do anything, that's just to confirm. And so, how do we use the plugin? Well, for the third person template, there are certain defaults that are set up. Uh, if you go into the very top, you have a third person example world, and if you double click on this, you have a game mode override. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into content and create a new folder where we're going to store everything that we're going to be doing. Just call it Jenga for now. And in here, uh, we're going to create a new blueprint. Uh, let's call it game mode and call it Jenga game mode. Now what we want to do is use this game mode. And let's go ahead and edit this. And, ah over here. So we're going to change the player controller to VR player controller because we'll be using uh, VR uh, play in certain instances. And then we're going to change the pawn from the default into leap collision character. And you'll have these show up once the plugin has been installed like we did earlier. And once you hit play you can see that uh, we can see our hands uh, and it's tracking, you can do gestures and things like that. Um, so with that already set up and that was just simply changing your game mode and changing your character, uh, all we have to do to actually start a Jenga style game is uh, to put in some physics objects. So we're just going to go right here in the basic and just pull out a cube and uh, we're going to enlarge this a little bit and put it down to have a little base that we can start off with and we're going to be using this to well test a few things as things get more complicated down the road. Now these two can easily be uh, static uh, meshes that don't change so you can bake in the lighting but um, for the actual blocks uh, they will have to be changed to movable so first things first is to sort of roughly size the block so that we can use it for Jenga. And then if you hold down Alt, you can just copy out an extra block there. And I think these are a little bit too tight, so we shrink them a little bit. Actually, let's just get rid of this. Get rid of scaling. And there. Oh, it's 
a little bit too much of a gap. <laughs> That looks pretty good for the first group. And all we have to do is actually just take these three and hold Alt again, and then it pops out. And if we select the middle one, we can then rotate it around. And now you have the six basic blocks. Uh, what we're going to do at this point is just take these six, copy them over, that looks about right, and then since this is like a test bench, um, let's move these up a bit, and one, two, three, there, so now if we hit play, it's a little bit too high for the test. So, I mean, too low. There. Okay. So now that these ones, in order for these to be simulated uh, physically, you have to be movable for one uh, down here in under details. And uh, they need to simulate physics. So now, if you really walk up to these things and we touch them, you can see that already we have some physics being simulated. And we can seesaw and well. So you can imagine uh, that really the only thing that's required now is to group these and pull out a few stacks. I should do. Ah. And then we can select all of these and again hit simulate physics. And when you hit play, you can now take out your hand. And by the way, I'm moving with the WASD keys. Uh, locomotion is out of the scope of this tutorial. Uh, but you can see that you now have basically a Jenga stack that you can play with. So that's part one. Uh, stay with me for part two, and we'll learn how to pick up some objects.